Okay, this is the E and B plate, E is in methylene blue. This is also selective in differential media. It is selective in that only gram negatives will grow, gram positives will not grow on this. And then it is differential in that you'll be able to distinguish E. coli, which is commonly found in most animals in the fecal material, it exists naturally in our intestines. Uh, it's used as an indicator bug for water quality. And so you can distinguish between E. coli and other uh, enterics, other bacteria that are found in the intestinal systems. But once again, only gram negatives will grow. This plate up here on the top, this was inoculated with Staphylococcus aureus, which is a gram positive. We did not have any growth. That is what the plate originally looked like, and there is no growth, which makes sense because gram positives cannot grow on these. For the two gram negatives, E. coli over here and Enterobacter orogenes on this side, we did get growth. They're both gram negatives, so that makes sense. Here is the differential part. I'm going to have to open the lid so that you can see these well. So this plate that I'm going to open right now is the Enterobacter orogenes. As you can see, there is growth, but no coloration to it. But there is growth, so that's a gram negative. This plate that I'm going to open is E. coli. You will notice that there is a very classic coloration with this. It's a metallic green. It's actually very pretty. So see, E. coli can be really pretty. It's a very unique, distinctive. You see that metallic green coloration, you know that's E. coli. That's the only one that's going to turn that color on it.